And here we go again. This is part four of the Excel basics training course. In this video, we're going to go through formulas, some basic formulas you can input to Excel. Now, if you're brand new to Excel, this may frighten you, uh, the word formulas, but it's very straightforward, believe me, and we'll go through it um, a few times in this video. Let's add some numbers into Excel. 123. 4, 9, 30, 19. So I've entered some numbers into Excel. You can put any numbers in or you can put the same numbers as I am putting in. But say we have a, a long list of numbers and we want to have a total down here of these numbers. Um, so we want to automatically add these numbers and that can serve several purposes. There are so many documents where you need to add and subtract numbers, even multiply and divide numbers, but we'll come to that a bit later on. We'll just focus on adding and subtracting now. But it saves you so much work having to add them up, but also with a formula, if these numbers change, the total will change automatically. Um, and there are so many other reasons why it's important to know formulas and use formulas. So I've entered the numbers into H7 down to H11. Okay, now to add a total to these numbers, we need to start a formula. Now every formula in Excel starts with an equals sign. Um, so it's next to the backspace or delete button, equals. Okay, now First of all, we're going to learn how to add numbers together. And the way you add numbers together is to go equals sum, S-U-M, sum. Then open a bracket, that's shift and nine on my keypad. Highlight the cells you want to add together. You'll notice that it says H7 dot dot h11 okay they're the cells or the cell addresses that my numbers are in and then close the bracket click enter and we have a total of 185 you'll notice when you highlight numbers there will be a sum at the bottom 185 that gives you a total you also have a count of how many cells are highlighted um, or how many cells are highlighted that have text or numbers in and then it also calculates an average for you so you have some summaries down the bottom here average count and sum and here's our total you'll notice if i change the four to five so an extra unit our total has gone to 186. Now to show this is a total, we could add a border and create a total box, something like that. And we can even center that. And we could write total next. To that cell. Let's do another one. So 60, 4, 98, 99. Let's use some of the skills we have learnt in previous videos. So let's drag and bring down a number of numbers. Equals sum S U M open bracket. Highlight the cells. Click and drag. L7 to L16, you can always check, L7 to L16, close bracket, enter, 876. We can center that again, and format the border to have another total. If we change some of these numbers, if I change that to 1000, you'll see the total is corrected automatically and this is how you could minus a sum say we have a large number 
and we want to minus 500. Once again, equals, click on the amount you want to minus from, click minus, so I've got equals P9 minus P11, enter, there's our total. We can change that 500 to 1,000 and the total is added automatically. Now something we haven't covered yet that would be worth covering now is the merge and center button. So you'll see we have this total. We may want to merge a couple of cells just to, to make things look a bit better, a lot tidier. If we click merge and center, it will merge the two cells to make a single cell and center the text. We can then move the set text to the right. So we have our total. We can make this in bold to stand out more by clicking the bold button. We can even underline the text total. And because we have more space now, we may want to create longer text to say something like sub total. Once again, like I said, with all of these videos, play around and get to know Excel. The way you'll be able to naturally do these formulas is just by practicing, is by doing them yourself. So we could create a more um, extensive formula down the bottom here. We could do equals. Um, we may want to add our two subtotals together to make a grand total, and minus this amount to make a grand total. So equals this total plus this total minus this total. Enter. And we have our amount minus 14704. You'll notice if we change any of these figures, then this total and this total will automatically be updated. Now, in reality, your spreadsheet will look a lot more tidy than this and a lot more organized, but this is just an example. Merge and center, move to the right, grand total. Now it's time for you uh, to uh, apply what you have learnt and the way you, I suggest that you do this is to click on the link that will appear now which will take you to one of my older videos where I demonstrate how to create an invoice using Microsoft Excel. Everything we have covered so far um, you will need to create that invoice. And there shouldn't be anything in creating an invoice um, on that video that hasn't been covered in this course. So please click on the link. Even if you're not interested in creating an invoice using Excel, then I suggest you still do it as you're applying these skills. And what we've learnt so far will start to come together and make a lot more sense. Once you've watched that video and are comfortable making the invoice, then come back to this video and there will be a new link that will appear just here and that will take you to the next video in this Excel training course. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or send me an email info at bpfs bravo papa foxtrot sierra hyphen online dot com. Thank you.